Hey sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my Trendsend box for the month of March. I am dying to get inside, so let's go ahead and start the video. All right, so let's talk about the admin really quickly. Transcend is a clothing subscription box. It is put out by the stores called Evereve. If you decide to get a box, I'll put my link down below. You will fill out a profile, but what's cool is you actually get to pick the store that your box is styled in, which I think is interesting and a little bit different from other subscription boxes. It's not filled in some big warehouse. Now, the average price point of the pieces for this box is around $70. You get between six to eight items. I feel like it is more six items every time you can get jewelry and i think they have amazing jewelry pieces but if you're not into that you can tell them that you don't want that on your profile it is a 20 dollars styling fee if you buy one or more pieces you do get the 20 dollars credited back if you buy four or more pieces you're going to get a 10 percent discount and now that we have the admin all out of the way let's go ahead and jump right into the box now the cats are not on the bed today whenever they are not on the bed i always get questions asking where they are my cats sort of have full reign of the house all three of them and so i don't know where they are <laughs> we may see them as i do the try on so i do have a little note for my stylist and also a price sheet and why she put what she put in the box oh i see something really interesting in here and then this is what it sort of looks like I'm going to leave everything in the box and just kind of pull it apart. Okay, so this is done by Outfit 1 and Outfit 2. So it looks like Outfit 1 is right on the top. It says, the straight leg denim trend is here to stay. Oh, that makes me so happy. I just feel like I am crushing on straight leg jeans right now. I just think they look so nice on my body. It says this new light wash with a little deconstruction from cut is the perfect spring upgrade in denim. Try them with this season's biggest trend, the tie dye puff sleeve tee. Tie dye is everywhere. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it. At first when I kept seeing a lot of sort of Instagrammers and YouTubers wearing it, I was like, no. No, I don't want any tie dye, but I am warming up to it slowly. Um, let's see, these sleeves look fab on triangular body types by creating an hourglass shape, which I actually have. I have wider shoulders and then a little, not a small waist, but a smaller waist. Um, for a classic with a fun twist, on the neckline, the striped pullover is amazing. Try on both of these tops with denim shorts when the weather warms up, as well as with pants in this box. Okay. So the first thing is the tie-dye. I will actually um, list all the pieces in this box down below. So this is what the piece looks like. I actually like this blue, but it's a little bit short. We'll have to see what it looks like on. It's by RD Style. I actually really like this sort of blue and lavender or light washed blue. It's really pretty. I think it's the pastel-y tie-dyes that I'm not liking. I like these bright, more vibrant ones. This is cute. Okay, that little sweatshirt is $54.40. Now, I did have somebody use my link, so if it was you, thank you so much. And so I have a 20% discount on this box, so prices would be 20% higher for you. Um, if I wanted to buy anything, I will get that 20% off. Okay, the next little shirt is by Chaser. Ooh, I love a white shirt with black stripes. It's one of my favorite things to wear. It's so versatile, and this one has the one cutout shoulder. I am here for this all day, every day. I love this. I feel like everybody should have a white shirt with black stripes in their wardrobe, whether you have a t-shirt, a sweater, whatever. You can put a fun, really cool necklace with it. They look great with any color cardigan, whether you're doing fall colors or bright spring colors. I just love this. Chaser is a little bit of an expensive brand, so I'm afraid to look and see... Let's see, it is, oh, 59.20. That's actually cheaper than I thought it was going to be. And then these are cut from the cloth. What brand, what name are these? Let's see, these are the Reese Ankle Straight. So my favorite cut from the cloth are the Catherine Boyfriend jeans, but these are really cute. They're ankle and they do have the frayed hem. 
They do have a little bit of distressing on the knee right here. Little tiny bit on this knee. It's not a big distress. And then a tiny bit on the pocket. These are cute. I do like a light wash denim. I'm excited to try these. Okay, I'm excited for this box. All right, let's go down to outfit number two. Okay, outfit number two, look at this. This is by Z Supply. I love a good Z Supply, and it's in this bright, what do they call this? I don't know if it's red or orange, or if they're calling it like a bright coral. I don't know about this color. Let's see. I do love a Z Supply t-shirt. I will say I have four or five Z Supply t-shirts. They're my favorite t-shirt to wear. They last a long time. They just are very flattering to your body and they wash well. Let's see, this one is 3120 and they're calling it Cherry Tomato. So definitely a bright red color. I don't know if I love the color to be honest. Okay, and then what else did we get? Oh, I didn't read the, um, the style notes for this one. Okay, then they sent a little, ooh, this is cute. It's a little kimono that's very tropical. This is very Christy. I like this a lot. This is cute, okay. Very adorable. That is the Safari, I think it's called Ruana. I always say Runa. It's by Michael Stars. That's why I like it. It's only $45. That's actually really good for Michael Stars. And I have to say my favorite products from Trendson that I have in my closet for years and years are the ones from Michael Stars by Trendson. Very good. Okay. And then the last item in here ooh, is Sanctuary. And I do, mm, I do have a pair of these. Do I? I actually love these pants. I have two pairs of Sanctuary pants just like this. One of them is a very um, in-your-face camo like this, and then another one is so light. The camo is so light, you can almost not tell that it's camo, but I'm wondering if I have them in khaki or in olive too. I've been wanting a pair like this in white, so I'm gonna have to see if, if Sanctuary brought these out. These are the most flattering pants for my body type. I feel like if you're a little bit heavier through the hip, these look so nice. I'm excited for these too. This is a good box. I may be in trouble. So these are the um, Formation Crop and they're $79.20. I will tell you the two pairs that I have are at least three years old and they're still going strong. So I would definitely pay that for these pants. I want to see what other colors they came in. All right, let's do the try on. I actually don't dislike anything. Maybe the red in the t-shirt, but the little kimono, I'm going to call it a kimono, it does have that red in it. So I see why they sent it. So maybe together that will be cute. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so for the first outfit, I put on the Sanctuary olive colored pants with the little Z Supply red t-shirt, which I love. And then the little, I'm calling it a kimono. Now, if you watched my Wantable video two days ago, I will link it below in case you didn't see it. I got something similar to this and it had this big, huge slit in it. I don't know if this is a theme this year, but I'm not, I'm not here for it. I don't like these big slits in this. I don't know. I feel like it almost makes you look bigger. I mean, kimonos are oversized and they're supposed to be sort of big and flowy, but I don't, I don't really like the big long slit. So that's gonna make this a no. I love the pattern of it. I think it's so pretty, sort of a tropical pattern. And I really like how she paired it with the red. If I was in the store, I probably never would have paired these together, but it looks really cute. And then I'll go ahead and take off the kimono. Here is the red Z Supply top. I'm not sure if I like the color on me, I just like, I love the cut of these t-shirts. I think they're really pretty. And then here are the sanctuary pants. Now I actually pulled out <laughs> two pair. These are two pair from Trendsend and they're both sanctuary. So this pair is camo. I wear these all the time. And then this pair is camo, but it's really light unless you're right up on them, they look khaki. Um, so I don't know if I need another pair in the same sort of color family, but I am gonna look and see. I just think they look really great on my 
Heine, I mean, let's face it, anything that makes your Heine look good is a must. <laughs> um, I want to see if they have them in black or maybe another fun color, because if they do, I think I'll buy them, but I don't think I want just a regular olive. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, let's move on to the next outfit. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the next outfit. I really am in trouble because like both of these pieces these are the straight leg what do they call these the reese jeans i just think they're so fun i love cut from the cloth it fits my body really well i like the straight leg they're very similar i feel like to the katherine boyfriend jean i like them a lot they fit really well and this little chaser sweater is so me. You guys know I like something with an interesting neckline, a little bit strange. I do have an olive t-shirt with um, sort of the cut one shoulder from Transcend. It's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. So I feel like they have my style down. I think I need this. I'm just being honest. It is so soft, it's comfortable, it's going to be easy to wear from now all the way into the spring. I feel like you could take this to the beach and wear it with like jean shorts or any cool day if you're going to the mountains and staying. I like it a lot. I don't gravitate normally toward white, but I really like this. Okay, let me try on that last tie-dye shirt. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the next outfit. I kept on these cut from the cloth jeans and then put on the little tie-dye shirt. Now let me talk about these jeans one more time because I noticed something that I didn't when I pulled them out or when I tried them on with the first top. These jeans have sort of a high, low hem. So the front of them is a little bit shorter than the back which I think is really cute. I did not see that when I pulled them out, so I just wanted to sort of show you. If you can't see in the camera, I will show you close up when I do the recap. And then here's the little RD style tie-dye shirt, which I actually really love this tie-dye. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know, I just like the navy. I think that's probably why, because I'm drawn to sort of blues and greens. I think the little puff sleeve on it is really cute. It's just sort of subtle, but pretty. The only thing is, I feel like with fashion, you have to know how to dress your body. For me personally, the widest part of me is right here. It's always been, even when I was a size two, it's just the way my body is built. You're usually like as wide as your shoulders, I think right here. Anyway, um, I like my tops to hit sort of right in the middle of that. I'm a little bit longer waisted. I just feel like it minimizes that look for me and I don't know. I just feel like this one's a little bit too short. If I put this in the dryer, I think it would shrink just a little bit. You know, in a perfect world, things wouldn't go in the dryer, but occasionally, you know, I have teenagers and a husband and occasionally they will do the laundry for me, which is great. And, um, you know, things happen. So I think I'm going to pass on this little top. So hang on and I'll give you my final recap and what I'm getting. Hold on. Okay guys, I have to say this box has made me fall in love with Trendsend all over again. To be 100% honest with you, I had moved this box to quarterly. I just wasn't loving what they were sending. And so the last box that I received, which was the Hockey Mom box, I actually asked it to be styled in another store. That was such a good decision. I have so many pieces from that first store that I love that are still in my wardrobe. I feel like sometimes inventory is an issue or maybe they switch stylists. They didn't do anything wrong, but sometimes I feel like you have to mix things up a little bit. And this inventory with this particular stylist seemed to just nail my style 100%. I'm so thankful. Um, I'm wondering if kimonos are going to be my thing this year. I don't know because this is O for two in the kimono area. Um, I love a good Z Supply t-shirt. You guys, if you're looking for a very flattering tee, go to the Z Supply website or go to the Ever Eve store and pick one up. I think they're gorgeous. I just don't think this is my color. Um, so I'm not going to get that, but y'all, secretly, I've, I don't think I've ever said this on my channel before, I've really wanted a chaser shirt. They have the cutest like, band tees and just interesting tees and they're always too short for me so to find something that's long and it's got this little slit on the shoulder this is so me i am very excited about this i will say i've had questions before when i wear shirts like this about what kind of bra i wear and i will wear a strapless bra if you need a good recommendation for a strapless bra i will leave my link to third love down below third love has the absolute 
best strapless bra. It does not feel like you're wearing a strapless bra at all because those can be uncomfortable. Um, but if you need one, I'll send you over there. The next thing is the cut from the cloth. I'm not going to keep these. If you're wanting to dip your toe into the straight leg jean pool, then I would definitely recommend these. They are very similar to the Catherine Boyfriend jean, which I have, I think, every color under the rainbow of, and I do have a light wash, so it doesn't make sense for me to get a similar pair. So I'm going to pass on those. I did really like this tie-dye. It's very trendy, but I don't think I like the crop. It wasn't really cropped. It's not a crop top, but it was just a little bit short for me. And you guys, I went on the Every website, and they have these pants in white. If you are an OG and you used to watch me when I used to film on my back deck out by the pool, you may remember how much I talked about wanting these pants in white and they didn't make them. I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to request those for my next box. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christy and I'm so glad you stopped by. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time for a future video. Bye-bye guys.